Hello there. Welcome to Nerd World Films, where we look at all things movie related. Today we're going to be looking at the biography of the serial killer, the fictional child's play universe, Charles Lee Ray, better known as Chucky. But before we get started, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and head over to my other channel, Nerd World. It's a little less specialized than this one. Check out some of the videos there and like, share and subscribe there also. With that said, let's get started. Charles Lee Ray was an American serial killer born to an Irish American mother and an Austrian father. His mother came from a wealthy family but his father less so. His father was an abusive alcoholic who routinely abused both his mother and Charles. Charles would grow up to be a dangerously deranged an obsessive individual. Known for many criminal acts, his most heinous ones would be murder. In his family he was known as a person to be shunned and avoided, not someone you left alone with anyone in a family. Eventually, via a mutual friend, he would be introduced to a woman named Sarah, a married woman whom he would become obsessed with and decide that he had to have her and what Charles wanted, Charles would get. He would murder her husband by drowning him and after attending the funeral he would kidnap Sarah with an accomplice and intending to keep her for himself. After tying her up in his safe house, his partner waited outside in the van while he conversed with Sarah trying to convince her that she was his now and that there was no other options. But to his dismay, the police would soon be surrounding his safe house. Sarah had managed to call them before being kidnapped. As punishment, Charles stabbed her in the stomach, injuring the unborn child inside of her. He would then flee. With the police in pursuit, he would be injured, finding his way to a toy store where the events that would lead to Charles becoming Chucky, the living doll. Drawing on his knowledge of voodoo practices and the occult, he was able to transfer his soul into that of an inanimate object being a good guy doll, upon which time, as I said, he will become the semi-immortal Chucky. It's surprising to note that there are only three known victims of Charles Lee Ray before he became a possessing entity of the good guy doll. He had killed the husband of Sarah, Tiffany's mother, and one other woman named Vivian Van Pelt. This was the woman whom earlier Charles had murdered with the intention of stealing an expensive ring worth perhaps five or six thousand dollars he'd intended to sell. This ring he would lose upon being shot by the police. Tiffany would discover the ring and mistakenly believe that this ring was an engagement ring that Charles was going to present to her. Fortuitously, in the future, this mistake would lead to Charles being resurrected once again in the good guy doll by Tiffany who wished to rekindle their relationship. But that's a story for another time and perhaps another character biography. That was the life and trials of Charles Lee Ray before he becomes Chucky and his life became a whole lot more interesting and he became a whole lot more dangerous. If you liked this video, please like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching.